guys welcome back to my channel and i am here with you guys and i swear you guys i am dressed and it's a dress okay so we are not naked so welcome back to my channel my name is shukununa and today we are doing another exciting video yes of course and it's a palette another palette review you guys um so i am so excited about this um review today because it's a south african brand so today we are reviewing a palette by hermosa by hermosa flow by hermosa flow or hermosa flow i don't know i don't think it's english i think it's spanish and she said it means flower beautiful flower something like that and it's by your girl gorgeous mbali and today i'll be reviewing her palette i only bought the palette because you know i just wanted to i think i love palettes than lipsticks because when i saw it online i saw this beautiful colors and i was like you know what? let me get this palette because i really want to check it out so here it is and it is in a beautiful um it's more like a gift bag it's a bit um it's leather but not leather but yeah i just love the way she put it so I have opened it because I have opened it last weekend this weekend because I had to use it and it's not really my first impression on the colors but the colors that I'm going to use today it's my first time and we are hoping for the best so this is how it looks like and it looks something like this and similar to my wow palette packaging in a way so you just want to pull this and it's got like gold flowers and stuff so oh the other one is upside down and it's written in um it claims to have high pigmentation and it is easy to blend and then uh, it continues to say 18 eyeshadows in four ready to layer textures so it's got like eight buttery mattes six pressed pearls three duochrome toppers one darling glitter mix and layer textures to create your own look dab to the toppers on the center of um or all over your lids for a shiny pop um layer an extra coat using your finger for an extreme um iridescent effect hmm. see who teacher is teaching us english see who about so yeah it has that effect apply the pure glitter all over or line eyes with a firm flat brush to give your look a playful hint of shine and the rest of things are in i don't know what language is that and you know the ingredients are just here i'm not sure if you can see that but yeah if you feel like you want to read the ingredients so there you go so um let's so um it's a hermosa floor cosmetic glow gang eyeshadow and this is how the outside looks like can we thank the lady for the mirror you guys so i really love a palette that comes with a mirror because it makes life easier so this is how the colors are looking like come on so they are named glow up stay humble slay it pink roses contour it floor whole mood sister glow getter miss independent princess oh yes queen yes queen <laughs> oh sweetheart um good gold darling queen drip angel face and brow it and i was reading from this line to the end yeah so we're gonna put the colors to test so the first thing that i'm going to do i want to transition and i'm gonna use my angel face and it's more like an orangey um it's like an orangey brown in a way and i like my transition to be orangey brown you know so for the first time when i used it i was only using the browns because i was in a hurry and i had to go somewhere and i'm so sorry you guys i couldn't wait to review it like from fresh but from that day i could already see the pigment of this eyeshadow you guys so you want to make sure you use a little as you go 
so we're just gonna transition with you just to create a little bit of brown in a way and I know my eyebrows look like birds <laughs> we are kind of looking like we are flying but do not worry about that Molly worry Molly worry so that is how we are looking so the next color that we're going in with is this pink roses and you guys today we are going bright okay well as always but i just wanted to play with colors of this palette just to test its pigment and we are using the same brush you just want to clean it and you just want to pack can you can you guys can you see that? can you like she did it she did it you guys she did it the pigment of this colors unfortunately i am going nowhere so i wouldn't know how uh, long do the colors last i mean the colorful shades but um with the nudes the the browns i think i i only wore i only wore the browns for like two hours and they were still you know intact so i was happy with that so the colors are really pigmented okay well the pink is pigmented and it's buildable and i actually like the way like it's just coming off the way it looks on like on the palette considering the fact that i didn't put an eyeshadow base or i didn't put a lot of concealer i am really rooting for this palette you guys so this is how the pink is looking and you guys i said i was gonna do both eyes on cam but i feel like so the next brush that we're going in with is this blending brush and it's by color and this one is in number 506 and we are just going to pick which color actually let's go in with this purple you guys like let's play with these colors that our lady created so oh i actually thought you guys this purple is not gonna blend and this is so nice because it's blending really pretty well it is true that um, you can easily blend the other shadow to the other so I am really happy with that so I'm gonna take the um, I'm just gonna take the brush that we use just to blend uh the colors together on top so bear in mind that my uh brush is cleanish so the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut my crease and i'm not sure if i should but let me do it should i should i not should i should i not should I? let's do it so to cut my crease i'm gonna be using this la girl pro conceal concealer and it is in medium beige so i'm gonna be using this flat brush i was using it for my brows to cover my brows and it's also by color so i'm just gonna just put a bit of my concealer apply in the middle look up to find your crease line and that is way too high but it's all right So the next color that we are going in with it is this blue right here and it's called queen right so let's put our queen <laughs> you guys can you imagine like i didn't spray a thing and it's just coming out like that oh my god this is so beautiful you guys like it's a beautiful blue it's like a shimmery blue but wow you guys i haven't experienced any caking so far and oh what
we want to transition our colors i'm going in with a small blending brush and i'm just gonna blend it taking the um, what is it called oh sweetheart to blend with the blue I want a darker color. Am I allowed to cheat and put black at least? Can I? Can I please? I'm just gonna uh, at least still a bit of a dark color and I'm gonna take baked. I'm gonna take baked from my wow palette. Just a little bit of it just to intensify the purple towards the end and just you know a little bit of it. And does that so I am going to use my I'm going to use my flat brush to sort of clean the outer part of the eye more like a wing liner in a way so you just want I just dropped my brush oh no. so if you've been watching my channel you would know that this is my crucial step when I'm doing my lip when I'm doing my eyes I always want to you know you just like wanna pull out your eyes, you know? So yeah, we are pulling out our eyes. Just like that. Going in with a cotton wool. Um with a cotton whatever. Going in with a cotton butt and a setting spray. I'm just going to clean everything out. I'm gonna mess my line. I'm gonna mess my line. No, it didn't do it. Oh, yeah. Great. Great. Am I allowed to use glitter? Can I look for glitter? Can I use. Will I be exaggerating the look if I take this? Yeah. You know what, you guys? Hey! I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I, I, I just like this glitter has been just staring at me, and I want to use it. Can I use it? Can I use this star or yes, queen? Are they gonna blend well? Let me use yes, queen, and I'm just gonna take the very same brush that I was using to clean up. I don't know why I'm doing that, but we're just gonna pop it right here uh, why am i doing this to myself uh, that's <laughs> glitter, glitter. so bear in mind that i'm using this um i don't know if it's glitter or an eyeshadow glitter without a base and it's quite sticking you guys it's so sticking it is sitting so you can definitely use it without the base i just don't know how it will hold up throughout the day but oh actually the colors are not too bad oh. so i went on and did the other eye and this is how it's looking and on this eye i did a different thing um, so what happened on this eye I didn't put the base I just wanted to see how the blue is gonna show um, it's not really as intense as the other side but I swear you guys this is so it's actually really nice considering the fact that I didn't put a base and the color it's really showing I mean to me that is really something else like I don't really see much of a difference but you know the difference that I did on the other eye was that I didn't put a base just to make the color pop as always so so the next thing that I'm going to do oh my god today I'm actually using our very own brand guys like oh so, um, I'm gonna be using this Pusha M um, Marula skin oil and you know I'm just happy that I'm using something this belongs to us my hands are a little bit darker than my face and that really annoys me but it's okay so we are a bit shiny because of the glitter from the 
because of the eyeshadows um they have this shimmery sun shining uh shine shines <laughs> So the next thing that we're going to use is this um, You Better Work Gym Proof uh, Primer. I know it's during the night, but we can't skip the we can't skip the the, the, the priming uh, step. So this primer, you guys, I started using it uh, last week, and it really like mattifies your skin. I tell you, if you, but I find that. Um, when my skin is too dry then my foundation cakes so I don't know if it wants someone with a good face healthy face or what but it's so strong it can mattify your skin until it cracks sometimes so yeah I don't know if it was me or what so the next thing so the, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I usually color correct my scars but I feel like I'm healing you guys if you check my um, uh, if you check my what is it if you check my uh, skincare routine you would see that I got my new skin routine that is working for me and um, we are not going to color correct today because I really feel like um, things have changed uh, quite a lot when it comes to my face so yeah so we're going to use this super stay um, 24 hour full coverage foundation and yes if you feel like you want to see how I draw my eyebrows then go to my page click on chicken in a bold and look for a tutorial where I was doing my eyebrows and please don't forget to subscribe to like comment and you know click on the notification bell down below if you haven't already of course so yeah so we are going in with the foundation and this foundation is in color she's not usually I use um, caramel but I got a bit darker when I was in limps so I'm using a signature brush it doesn't have a number but it's more like a blend it's not really a blending but it's supposed to be an eyeshadow brush but I use it for my brows just to sort of diffuse the um, the white line you know so it, it is advisable to use this color on top but you know me it's advisable to use the foundation of your color when you're doing the upper part of your brows to avoid what I'm doing but if you have time you might as well just you know do the step and make sure you do not have an outline of your brows dear so the next thing that we're going to do is to use this Maybelline fit me um, concealer and this is in color 30 it's a bit not a not a bit it's really light but I just like to use a little bit of it well that's a little bit so you want to highlight your under eye so you want to highlight your chin your under eyes or your dark marks your forehead and your nose and you want to look something like that you're going to look something like this so it's time to blend this is the time where you want to use a smaller sponge because this one is not really Shush! stay away from me there are flies you guys So we're just gonna go straight with my LA Gapers Pro Conceal Powder and this one is in color banana and it's also my second time using it you guys how do I get this thing open uh, 
I finally got the holes <laughs> opened. So we are using this powder to sort of set our concealer. More like baking, not really baking. Okay, it's called baking, but yeah. We don't want it to be too intense. Ooh, the bright. The light is too bright. You want to use the same sponge to sort of reverse contour even though we haven't contoured yet so I didn't apply I didn't apply any contouring uh, concealer because I feel like I don't know I don't want to be like too intense oh, I just spilled everything everywhere so the next exciting step that we're going to is to use my black radiance contouring powder it looks like that and it's by Blake Radiance and it's light to medium and my god it's been through a lot so we're just gonna dip into both sculpt and contour colors to just sort of create our contour contour I just like the color payoff of this color of this contouring palette you guys even when I didn't really put anything underneath, it's just so nice. So using the same uh, brush, I'm just gonna wipe off the setting powder. My LA girl in color banana. I don't know why I'm so playful. I'm a bit tired, you guys. Um, I've been traveling the whole weekend, and the way I'm so tired. So, hence my energy is a bit low. If you think this is me having a lot of energy, then you better watch my other videos. <laughs> You do not know me yet So this is how we are looking. I'm still looking a bit white, but that's why we've got setting spray, baby So the next thing that we're going to do I really like this pink you guys I just want to use it as a blusher and let's see how it works and I'm just gonna dip a little bit of it tap and I don't want to use a lot. I don't want to be too pink. Oh my god the pigment I'm already pink but it's really nice oh this is a really nice pink it's a really beautiful pink like it's just like an everyday pink in a way let's tap it and so cute it's like not too intense but it's there can you see that like I really like it can we use one of her glittery um can we use one of her highlighting uh, eyeshadows to highlight our faces let me look for a brush so i came back with this fan brush and it's by color as well i don't know the number but yeah so i want to go in with this uh car it's called glow up let's see if it's gonna glow our faces it's gonna glow our faces so i'm just gonna take my fan brush i'm just gonna do like that and we're just gonna use it as a highlighter Ooh, all right <laughs> you guys that's a lot okay we're gonna let's just bring the access <sighs> can you guys see that like can you um i think i might have put a lot Let's just, how am I gonna fix this? 
let's just use the same brush to sort of diffuse the highlighter that is a lot of highlighter oh my god can you guys see that <gasps> let's use a sponge to sort of diffuse it I think I tried and this is how the highlighter is looking and it's a bit intense you guys this is how pigmented this palette is it's so pigmented I wow I am wowed I am wowed wowed <laughs> I am really wowed so I'm gonna go in with this um, uh, two-sided uh, brush that I was using for my eyeshadows and I just cleaned it I'm just gonna use it to contour my nose using my black radiance um contouring palette that i just showed you so i like to bring my contour palette towards the inner part of my eye just to sort of create an illusion of more like a longer nose you know and so that the nose looks like it's coming from my brows and yeah so i want to take the glow up using the same brush so i'm gonna take glow up and i'm just gonna use it as a highlighter for my nose as well i don't know why do i keep on using a lot <laughs> and my nose okay oh, girl oh all this cut mm, i like to put some under the chin you know this can be a really and on my chin let's put some on my forehead the excess that was on the brush let's bring it to our foreheads let's glow our five heads can you guys see this highlighter like so I want to take the same brush and I'm gonna use this glow up color as my brow bone highlighter and we're just gonna place it right there i would say that this palette has a lot of fallouts mm -hmm. but that is actually typical of palettes that are too pigmented they usually just have fallouts can you see that my especially my glow up baby here like can you guys see that um and i really don't wish for it to finish um no to close up the look we are going to use this um i'm gonna go in with um ocean uh in the middle of my eye just to like create uh. just to create uh oh my god it's in my eye it's in my eye it's in my eye i'm just creating sort of a smoky eye effect in the middle we are gonna put a blue and then flip my brush and i'm just gonna take this purple oh sweetheart and i'm gonna put it towards the end and towards the front of our eye just like that front and autumn pour yeah and then on my lips i'm just gonna go in with this um lippy right here and it's it's in this color and it's in this color right here right here and i forgot the color it's sort of a brown and i'm gonna apply it because we don't want our lips to be too loud i have this habit of applying my lipsticks without a liner but my highlighters usually just create that lip liner thing going on you know going in with my essence um lashes volume boost i'm just gonna um coat my lashes with this baby right here guys i ate hot wings so my stomach is um 
really upset and I just keep on running to the bathroom and I'm really really getting impatient and you know I'm just tired is it me or does it happen to you that when you eat hot wings when you eat hot wings all of a sudden you just have this running stomach going on but hey so the next and final step that i really don't like is lashes because it takes me years to put on lashes so we are just going in with this um 5d natural soft lash and i got them from the china mall yes i got them from china mall and they are really big and exaggerated so i really like them so the trick that i use is to just take my uh, adhesive glue um this one is by kiss and it's a strip eyelash adhesive 24 hours and it looks something like this and yeah so what i do to save time i don't coat my lashes i actually coat my own meat <laughs> and you want to make sure you do not open your eyes and yeah and you stay away from your lashes don't do like what i'm doing actually because my lashes usually just get in the way like so after doing that you want to take your lash and you want to like sort of bend it like that oh my god i ruined it and then let's put it oh my god it's just way faster but it's still not an easy process oh if i could pay someone to put lashes for me i would my god so yes i'm back with the lashes on and the final thing that we're going to do is to use this mod setting spray and it looks like this and i have shifted up my camera a bit and it's windy so you're gonna see my wind. so you're gonna see the curtain moving and stuff so they're not ghosts it's just wind so we're gonna just set our faces we just gonna so we're gonna set my face mm -hmm. okay that's a lot of spray that is a lot of spray Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so thank you so much you guys for watching so my final thoughts on this palette is that um it is really pigmented and i really like the color payoff of it it's really beautiful and i just like the color combinations she put um your bright colors with your um browns and i think this is a really brilliant idea i also am in love with her glitters i don't know what they are called but i really like them they're so beautiful and i mean so far uh, i mean based on the browns that i used before and this color and uh, this the bright colors i really really like um this palette and it is one of my favorite and yeah i'm so happy um in terms of um fallouts it does have fallouts and more especially on the palette itself you will have a bit of fallout but i think it's just typical typical for pigmented uh, palettes and you get to get 18 uh, shades for about 300 and i don't remember the price i'll just link the prices below you can just visit her website to check that as well um so i think she really did a good job for a first time brand um I mean to launch makeup uh collection i just feel like she did a really good job and um i would actually really recommend this palette um so when it comes to delivery maybe because it was her first launch I just feel like it was a bit delayed but um, I think it's better than Aliexpress 
it was better than aliexpress but the delivery was a bit delayed so but i would understand because it's her first launch and maybe like most of people actually ordered it but mm, waiting for a week or two it's not doesn't doesn't really hurt and i think from now on uh delivery maybe is gonna be better i don't know so yeah when it comes to delivery it was a bit delayed and i did uh, text the number that was paid that is on her pinned uh tweet i mean a, a pin tweet for her uh, website for her brands uh twitter and i did text the number and i didn't get an answer from them so i don't know about that but they do have a number i think i don't know but i didn't really get any reply on that but then my palette arrived the very same day and i was so excited to review it but i was somewhere else oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I need to close my window and yeah. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to like and comment down below. Also follow me on my socials that I will link down below. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Wait, 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 wait. Can we talk about my hair? Can we talk about my hair you guys? Like my hair i think it's a beautiful you know locking of dreads where they use crush it like this is so beautiful like huh.